Hello there. Imagine. Are you Sneeko? Yeah. It's good to meet you. Nice to uh, I'm a Christian. Hi, Do you mind if I have a dialogue? Hi, brother. Hello. We've got a Christian but ethno nationalist over there. Would you be interested? You know who? Yeah, yeah. There's a ribbon. Oh, uh, Yeah. Oh. He looks Jewish up there. Yeah, let's talk. Sure, sure, sure. You see. Sure. So I was wondering what your perspective was about uh, the preservation of the Bible and the Quran. Right. The, the Quran has never been changed in. Uh, never been changed. So there's only one Quran. Yeah, there's only, only only one version of the Quran. Yeah. Only one version changed. of the Quran. Ooh. Yeah, and, and since then, like people have been able to recite it, even if all the Qurans were burned, then we'd be able right, to. Right, right. Because the oral tradition, you know exactly what it is, so you can recite it. Oh, I can't heart. recite it, but people can but memorize can. it. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, memorize yeah, it. Can. So, do you accept that there's ten kilaat of the Quran, yeah. ten different readings? Sure. Okay, but those ten different readings are obviously different, right? Okay. So if they're different, then there's not one Quran. There's ten Qurans. Okay. So do you take that back? That there's only one Quran. I, this is the first time I've heard that. That's, well, no, you. Well, I mean, I, I said it to you. You accepted it, so I assume you know about it, right? You're not just taking my word for it. What are the ten versions? No, so there's uh, different recitations. Uh, just like there's different accents. There's a British accent. There's a Texas accent. There's an English They're accent. They're not accents. Different accents. Yeah. Who are you gonna believe, a Muslim or a Christian? So really? Is that what it boils down to? Just, just what believe. The difference between the Kiriyat, like, Yeah, of course. So it's the famous one. Muhammad Jab will tell you this. Uh, I decided to chat with him about it. So you have in Surah Al Fatiha, you have Ayah four. I think it's Ayah four. Ayah four, nine, seven. Yeah. So, so uh, Maliki or Medina, Maliki or Medin, owner or king in Arabic. They're two different words. So if you want to read up about this, you can get a book called the Ten uh, Kiriyat of the Noble Quran by Dr. Fadal Soliman, who works for uh, the Bridges Foundation in Cairo, which is a Dawah Institute. And he's wrote a book, a book about it, where he translates the Quran into English, but not just in one reading, he does it for all 10. So okay. you can read the differences in the Quran for all different 10 valid readings, according to Islamic scholars. Great. Cool. So do you accept then that the Quran is not perfectly preserved? Because no, it's more I, I'll Quran. read that book and I'll, I'll see if that's, if that's the case. It's the first time I've heard that. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. I think you can see the point that the Quran isn't perfectly preserved, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. That's according to you. Well, that's according to the scholars I quoted. I mean, you can ask my job, he has the same view. Because the question is, which one is divinely revealed? Is yeah. it king or is it all? Well, it gets a bit which more complicated the... because there's supposed to be seven alus. Also, keep in mind that you guys are Christians. You guys misinterpret everything. Oh, so yeah. why so that's called ad hominem. Why would we, why would we that's called ad hominem. That's not so even man is God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's ad hominem. Ad hominem. Calm down. Calm down. No need to attack someone. No, I mean, it's, it's just ad hominem. Ad hominem means against the man. It's a fallacy that people use in debate when they can't actually address the point. I'm having a conversation. So let's address the point. So according to uh, Islamic um, uh, Sunnah, the Hadith, Muhammad says there is seven viable different ways that you can recite the Quran. They're called the Aruf. I can get the Hadith, it's Sahih al-Bukhari and others as well. So that must mean there are seven valid ways of reciting the Quran. But according to your scholars, there's ten. How did that happen? That's the first time I'm hearing that. That's interesting. Yeah. You should look it up. Because what people are saying is that, well, actually, Uthman, you know Uthman canonized the Quran. Do you know about that canonization process? No, no. Like okay, so the third caliph. People like that. Yeah, so, so Uthman put together a committee around 652 time to around 656. And he put together this committee to collect different Quranic materials from different places because there were reports of people arguing about what the Quran was because they differed. He then decided to standardize it into one um, Qureshi dialect, to one standard reading. And then he burnt all the other Quranic materials and he sent it out to the five different cities. So you had Kufa, Shah, Medina, Mecca and so on. My point is, is that if there's meant to be seven readings, where are they? I, I don't know. Where do you think they are? I think they were destroyed. I think that six out of seven valid readings for your Quran are destroyed and they're not preserved. Yeah, they are within all the recitation we have today. Six out of seven is a majority. Listen, it's a vast listen, majority. Listen, Who do you think destroyed them? This is my good within, friend Sam. Really good guy. Love him. Absolutely love him. Who do you think destroyed them? Uh, Uthman. Why because, do you think? I don't know. 
We don't know. I mean, it's a scholarly question. We don't actually know what Uthman destroyed. It just says that there were manuscript, chronic manuscript material that was destroyed. It was burnt, but they never elaborate on what that was. So in effect, there's. You don't think you're just projecting about how all the. Is this another ad hominem? Is this another ad hominem? Okay, so that's ad hominem. So that's a two core way fallacy. Hold on, hold on. That's a hold on. You don't think you're just projecting? Hold on. Welcome to Speaker's Corner. That's a two core way fallacy. You don't think you're just projecting your insecurity? No, ad hominem. Ad hominem. Ad hominem. That's a two core way fallacy. Whether the it, whether it was or was not the case that the Bible was preserved or not. Mm -hmm. That's why I know about hold Christians. Hold on, you guys just project. Hold on, I was still. Your insecurities about your religion. Right. You going? Still, right. 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 You going? He just walked off. Right. That was a quick debate. Where's he going? 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 Do you want to have a debate? Do you want to debate? Do you want to debate? If you don't have, you just know how to insult. Yeah, because that's what you tried to do to me as well. You tried to turn it on to me, us instead of answering the questions, right? Would you like to debate? No, you don't. Question. Anyone want to debate? Do so you want to get Mohammed Jabs to debate? Well, you I mean, that's that you don't know that your reason is fallacious. If and instead of actually, I can't even hear you. You can't even look at me in the eyes. I'm not yeah, autistic, yeah. so I don't typically yeah. make eye contact. So why should I talk to you then? Oh, you can't talk to me instead of uh, debating with someone like that. Clearly, I'm extremely new and just. Oh, so that comes in. You like to be ableist. With anything. Two Muslims now. Right, but the thing is that he should know this stuff. Like, and so should you. You know, you should be aware of this is the case. I agree, but what I'm saying is, like, let's say you present a new bit of information to me, when it's better for me to go, oh, yeah. Okay, I won't take this stance and agree right now. Okay. I made this claim, but I'm happy yeah. to go back and research it. I'd be nice if he said that. He just said, I don't, I don't know. know. But he said, I'm going to go read that book. I'm going to go read this thing. That's what he said. Oh, did he say that? I'm oh, sorry, I, I didn't catch what he said. That. That's good that he's going to read that. Because it's important for Muslims to know that there is not one Quran. There is a, there's meant to be seven, technically, but there's actually ten. Because there are a few The objective is to have like super, super informed, informed conversations mm. to find the most informed people. Huh? Right, oh, absolutely. I'd love to debate the most informed people. The reason I'm happy to debate is because I'm just not well informed, you know? And in any regard, my own God and your God and also. I want to make a video on Ramadan, please. Thank you. Alright, well, anyway, have a nice day. Can I wear my hijab? Sorry, say again. I don't believe your intentions are that yeah. yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I just generally want Muslims to know what scholarship says, and then they can make their own mind up. Yeah, I think that's a good way to approach it. Sure. Alright, take care. Should we do a wrap up? That was the most shortest debate in this video I think I've ever had. <laughs> he literally just walked off. He was like, no, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, if you like position it that way. Yeah, um, nice, well, that was a, a lot shorter than I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting something longer than that. I came in with basically two points, okay. that there is not one single Quran. There's a very minimum 10, yeah. according to the scholars of today. I, I quoted a source, I quoted a book that he could read this from. Okay. There are 10 different Qur'ats. Yeah. So uh, he said, I have no idea. <laughs> and then, <laughs> which I kind of hope would be, you know, he'd know a bit more by now. I know he's been a Muslim for, I think, maybe over a year or something like that. I don't know, but... Someone hasn't told him the truth about the Quran. He's been told, and he told me straight at the beginning, yeah. there is one perfectly preserved Quran. But when I said, actually, here's some evidence to the contrary, it all fell apart, which is a shame, really. I hope that Sneeko actually goes back and looks at these claims and does his own study of the evidence, because the evidence is overwhelming, and it comes from Islamic scholars. That's the funny thing. I'm <laughs> quoting him Islamic scholars, and he's like, well, I don't want to know this, so then he leaves. He walks away, which is a shame. Muslims cannot defend their doctrine of perfect preservation. It is a falsehood, it is evident. And um, yeah, I then brought up the point about the Aruf, the fact that there's meant to be seven acceptable modes of the Quran. Where are they? Right. No one knows where they are. They've gone missing. Six out of seven different variants of the Quran have gone, which seems a bit bad to me, but hey, hopefully Sneeko can go look that up and find out more for himself. And hopefully yeah. this will be the first step into leading him back to Christ. Yeah. Have a genuine faith with Christ to have truth with you and not be fighting against truth like the Muslims are today. Right. Sneeko, I hope sincerely you do come to Christ. Yeah. It would be better than, than succeeding in falsehood that Islam is. So God bless you, God bless you all. Come to Christ, have a great day. God bless. Thank you, wise man.